mercenaries. You are too late. Your invasion dies today. Captain, don't bother listening. Get a move on. Sir, you're gonna face stiff defense. You may be able to skirt around the worst of it with a maneuverable mech. I don't care what you do, Captain. Get those guns, quick. Okay, um, mission 13, orbital gun. You could do what they said and take a, uh, mech that has a jump pack and go around the right edge of the map. But, um, I took a heavy mech and I'm just going to cut through the base. Because, to be honest, I don't do it much, and but it d is a pretty easy technique. Once you destroy that gate, you are going to want to look to your right, or there will be a mad test. And so, kill this mad cat. I also am using a mad cat because. I find Mad Cat to be uh, better than most other mech. But uh, once you've killed this guy, um, uh, if you do need power ups, there's some in the building that are like one hit me down. Anyways, if you go. The way the Mad Cat came from, you will be going the correct way, but just in case you don't, there's a, another mech this way, because I haven't played this game in forever, I went this way. You don't have to go over this way, you can kill it, but I don't like killing things, and I like it when things go boom, so I'm gonna kill them anyways. Um. Anyways, there's also power-ups over here, and health and stuff, so that's another good thing. But um, other than that, if you have a jump pack map, you can jump this little edge right there, but if not, you're going to want to go to the way the Mad Cat came from. And... Because I'm lost. Nope, never mind. I'm heading on track. But uh, you're gonna want to keep going that way, and you're gonna want to watch on the cliffs because there will be a mech up there. And he's only a medium mech, so you shouldn't have any problems. Although you might not want to do what I did, and you might want to wait do the finishing blow when he falls down. Can collect his stuff. Uh, yeah, he did. Anyways, once you get here, there will be uh, infinite spawning helicopters coming. Uh, and they are. Uh, they're forward, but... Anyways, you have a 15 minute timer, but you shouldn't let that bother you. Because it really doesn't take that long, and the helicopter... Uh, the helicopter spawned from a building up on that cliff. You could probably hit it from down here. I just didn't... Yeah, you can. I just didn't bother with it. But, uh... Eventually, you're going to want to continue left, and cut through this little area. You will find a mech over here, and that's because there is a mech demo deeper in this little base area, which you're going to want to take out, which if you took a jump pack mech, you wouldn't actually get to this part. Well, you could, but if you went around like they suggest, you wouldn't get to it. Of course, if you go around, you don't have to fight through here, but it's always good to kill things. Anyways, to my left, 
would be the mech creation thing, but I just kind of walked past it. Because there's a couple of other things that get a bit annoying. Um, Sir, that building right there, that is the mech Evo. They aren't happy, it's a little hot. Captain, can you help the boys out? Yeah, every five minutes they decide they're gonna ramble on about something useful. That time it's both the dudes getting whatever the hell I don't know. The fucking drop chips. Uh, let them drop. Mercenary and scum. I don't you should not meddle in the plans of the blessed bla There are your targets! I really don't care about the other two dudes because they do nothing except for drop. Anyways, just in case you guys have been paying attention to the story, the whole point of you coming down here is because you were going first to kill these people. First gun is straight out of the exit. The second gun is right of that. And if you can't find the guns, the guns up here on your mini map with an arrow that points to the next one. One more down. Good job. And then from the first one, there's one to the left. If you came from the jump jet, you should have appeared at that second orbital gun I blew up. Anyways going to want to keep going. There is power-ups in those buildings. Really, because all you have to do is kill the last, uh, dropship, or er, don't Don't really need these. Captain, the orbital guns were our primary mission, but we got another one from upstairs, so no R&R yet. The Icarus isn't fixed enough to get us off planet, but it can move us around. Command wants us to figure out what this Ragnarok is, and seize the lost technology, while the rest of the Dragoons clean up the word of Blake here. So, we are off to a hellish wasteland of lava and dust storms. Once more into the breach, eh, Tiger? No place I'd rather be.